the political season is heating up. Uh, you're up for re-election, but it appears right now that you're not going to have any opponents uh, mm, well, in the fall. Well, for right now. Yes. So do you think people have been pleased with the job that you've done during your first term in office? Is this a sign of that? Uh, I would like to think that that, that is a sign of it. Um, I think um, without sounding uh, even a bit conceited, I think y you have, there's some of that there. Um, I've worked very hard. My staff has worked very hard at reaching out to constituents and uh, addressing their concerns throughout my district. Um, w I get out. Um, I've had two tours where, where I've hit every village and every town in my district. Um, we've been very successful in getting some laws through, co-sponsoring laws, authoring laws. I've authored 15 um, laws that have passed the Senate and the Assembly more than any other uh, in more than any other uh, freshman assembly member in my class. So I think we're putting in the work. I think I'm putting in the work. And uh, hopefully uh, that's what you see is you see uh, my constituents and they appreciate it. And briefly, let's look at your first term in office. So what were some of the highlights? Uh, you mentioned the, the 15 bills that have become law. Sure. What, what were some of the victories for you and uh, some of the accomplishments in your, in your uh, first uh, term? Certainly the laws that, that, that we put in place or the bills that have been put in place and signed, there's a few more that have to be signed by the governor. Um, funding, um, we've, uh, I've funded various uh, initiatives, uh, got it into the budget. Certainly when you talk about trade with, uh, with Quebec and helping our economy and helping jobs here, able to provide funding for that to help bolster that relationship. Um, Senior Planet, something that's near and dear to my heart, um, was able to provide and secure funding for that for the past couple of years for people in this region. Um, helps our seniors connect um, uh, with their, their friends or family, helps them out learning, uh, uh, in learning the internet. Um, and just very proud to have done so well on constituent services, because I think at the end of the day, um, I have a great staff that follows up with our constituents and addresses their concerns. We don't always get the 100% uh, positive result that our constituents want, but we always address them, and for the most part, um, we do help them out. And what What are one or two of the disappointments from the first year? The um, bills that the I bills that didn't make it through. You had a bill to yeah. to encourage employers to uh, to maintain or hire uh, recovering addicts yeah. and also a domestic violence bill sure. that you and Senator Little co-sponsored. Yes, um, certainly the Jamie Rose law. Um, we, we are not giving up on any bills that didn't get through in the last session and we'll keep working on that. Um, and that would require more professionals to report yes. a suspected case and, of, dis yeah. of domestic violence. And, and, at the in the, in, and at the end of it, it helps domestic uh, violence victims, and that's uh, you know that's what we need to do more of. We keep seeing incidents of that, um, and certainly you talked about the Jobs Recovery Act bill that uh, that uh, Senator Little and I are uh, authoring. I believe um, that is a budgetary item, and we're going to work hard uh, this upcoming budget season to get that through. Um, and uh, there's an EMS bill out there also that I have authored, and Senator Little has offered. There's actually a couple of them, but we see in this area. Um, uh, the scarcity of, of first responders and s no knock on our, on our first responders. It's just um, the people and uh, uh, the people just aren't there. We all lead busy lives and uh, staffing we need is a real issue. We, staffing is a real issue and, and all the volunteer fire departments will agree with that. This bill would help uh, volunteer fire departments staff EMS to get them out because the bottom line is we want um, uh, response. We, uh, we want uh, uh, people in our community to feel safe and to know that they have uh, a first responder coming um, with medical care to get them to the appropriate facility. And that's what it's all about. And as we mentioned, it is the political season. Sure. Uh, as a Democrat, uh, have you endorsed either one of the candidates running for governor I yet? I have not. I have not endorsed. I know uh, Ms. Nixon. Well, there's a couple. There's, uh, I think there's four maybe as of now. Um, but uh, I know Cynthia Nixon has, uh, uh, I, I do not know her. Um, I, I don't know if she's visited the North Country. I don't think she uh, has. She I, seems to be pretty focused yeah, on Yeah, I know uh, some of my colleagues and I know uh, some of the uh, political clubs in, uh, in the city uh, she has support with. Um, but I, 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 don't, I don't know her and I, uh, I haven't endorsed anybody yet, no. But I do know that no, the governor does know where the North Country is, so that's a plus. Billy Jones, thanks a lot for taking the time to be with us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.